Hello, Master Duel Central. How's it going? Today, I have a brand new deck profile for you guys. Something completely different from the usual. It's a uh, very sussy, very pog. We're playing a Pegasus deck. I've been playing this deck in ranked recently a little bit when I'm not playing the Synchro event. And honestly, it's a ton of fun. Obviously, it's not like a top tier competitive meta. But, you know, I am climbing plat one with it. Uh, so it, it can win matches in plat one. It's just, uh, I wouldn't say it's like as good as Dinos or anything like that. But if you're looking for something like that's DM era, you know, Pegasus deck, it, it's really good. Probably one of the better DM era type decks. That's all because of this monster here. Millenniumize Restrict is just absolutely broken. And this deck has a really, really good matchup against Eldritch in particular. So if you're really sick of Eldritch, this might be the deck for you. So let me just go through the card by card very quickly. Then I'll explain my game plan and show you some gameplay. So for the cards, we got three Effect Veiler. One Jet Synchron, one Golden Eyes Idol, three Millennium Eyes Illusionist, three Sangan, three Tour Guide from the Underworld. Everybody loves this card. We've got one Amano Kujaki. If that's, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. If you're wondering why I'm playing this card, it's because it's a level three Fiend Tuner, which means when you normal summon Tour Guide from the Underworld going first, you can just go get this card and go into a one card combo that ends up on a scythe lock with the baron the flare usually you want to go second with this deck but if they make you go first uh just scythe lock baron pass is usually at least decent enough to uh to stop the opponent from playing uh and so obviously we're playing the scythe the two gamma seal one copy of Gadarla, the mystery dust kaiju and one copy of thunder king obviously your kaijus your ratios for kaijus is up to you I think this is a decent amount because what we really want to see is interrupted kaiju slumber. Um, kaijus are really good in this deck obviously because you can suck them up. You can go suckle mode with relinquished, you can go suckle mode with anima, and you can go suckle mode with millennialized restrict as well. So obviously the kaijus are a lot more useful in this deck than in many other decks just for that reason alone. So you definitely want to play them and this card is just amazing in this deck for sure. And then we're playing the three pre-preparation of rights. Um, I'm playing two Black Illusion Ritual. A lot of people play three. Uh, I know that means I have one dead pre-preparation, but honestly, it's just because, like, I was even thinking of maybe running two of this. It's just because, you know, you want the deck to be as consistent as possible. Now, you don't want to run two of this because that's the main material for your Millennium Eyes Restrict. So I figured, well, I'll, I'll remove at least one of the ritual spells. Um, and drawing this card is a lot better than drawing this card, obviously. We got one copy of Twin Twisters, uh, one copy of Lightning Storm, and two copies of Forbidden Droplet. These are like my going second power cards that I want to draw into off of Max C. Honestly, the ratio is up to you. This deck is pretty weak against back row, to be honest, because I don't have the three Lightning Storms, but I do have the three Twin Twisters. I was considering maybe removing these two, keeping the Lightning Storm and putting a second Twin Twister. It's just that sometimes, you know, because this is a going second deck, just drawing into the Droplet off of a Max C is just too good. So I end up just playing the Forbidden Droplet, even though we're not at 40. Uh, I would play three, but obviously uh, I can barely get it all to fit in here. So I'm playing two Droplet, uh, one Twin Twister and one Lightning Storm, but that the ratio is up to you i honestly think if you had, if i had three lightning storm i'd rather play that but it is what it is so the extra deck we've got one copy of thousand eyes restrict this card's almost never getting summoned thousand eyes restrict it's not very necessary uh, but you you can make it technically if you normal summon this card and use its effect and then activate the relinquished fusion but uh pretty rare that you'll go into this one this card is like your big boss monster. This card is amazing. You know, it'll take a monster from the opponent's graveyard or their field when they activate a monster effect. So this card just totally obliterates Eldritch because once you equip that monster to it, your opponent can't use any other monster with that same name. It's also pretty good against Cyber Dragon, actually. If you can get your hands on one of their Cyber Dragons, it stops a lot of their effects. It's pretty funny. Uh, I know that Cyber Dragon is not really the same kind of threat as Eldritch, but I do think that's kind of a funny interaction. Uh, we've got the Wonder Magician, Baron, Hulk of Fibrax, and Dagda. You already know this combo. You've seen it plenty of times, I'm sure. But basically, if you summon the Tour Guide, use it to summon Amano Kujaki. Then you can go into Synchron Hulk of Fibrax, Special Summon the Jet Synchron. And with that, you make a Link Rebo. Afterwards, you can revive Jet Synchron from the grave, go into Dagda, pass turn, and when your opponent does anything in main phase one, you just activate Hulk of Fibrax, activate Dagda, and you've got yourself a Scythe Lock on top of a Baron Summon. So it's just really strong, uh, really easy to do in this deck. There's other things you could play instead of this, but I just really like the Scythe Lock. I think it's really broken, especially since this deck kind of struggles going first. I think it's a really nice, easy setup going first if, uh, if your opponent makes you go first for some reason. 
Um, then we're playing the Al Mirage. This is just to send the normal summon Sangan to the grave. Really good way of getting rid of Sangan and getting your search of Relinquished. Very important. Um, we're playing the Anima because it suck. And we wanted to go suckle mode in this deck. Um, playing the Link Rebo, that's where the Jet Synchron interactions. We're playing Predaplan Ferte Anaconda. Honestly, if it wasn't limited, I'd play more than one. This card is insane in this deck because it's so easy to get your hands on Relinquished. And this card is made using Relinquish and any other effect monster. So, you know, if you have like Effect Valor in the grave or Maxi in the grave, or that's perfect. You know, you just use that and the Relinquish you search off of Sangan and uh, you can just make it. You can also obviously search this off of the Preparation of Rights or the Pre-Preparation of Rights. So very strong, very easy to make. And uh, that's why Predator Plan for Tanaconda is so broken, turning any two monsters into an activation of this card. Also, another important thing is that if your opponent activates Imperial Order, uh, you can still use your fusion spell by just summoning Predaplan Verte Anaconda. So, yeah, very important combo and very important card. Wish we could play more than one in this deck. Selene, uh, this is just like your way of going into either Appaloosa or Access Code Talker if you ever need them. I rarely end up going with this route because I prefer doing like the Baron setup, but you can definitely do it. You know, and it's still very strong. Access Code Talker can definitely save you. So yeah, I love this deck. I think it's a ton of fun. Let's show you some gameplay. All right, so here we have a replay against Eldlich. Uh, I'm going to be showcasing to you just how well the deck can do against Eldlich. I did misplay somewhere in this game, so I'll explain that when we get there. So the opponent will set, activate Eldlixir of White Destiny, search the Eldlich, well, the Golden Lord, I mean, sorry. Search the Golden Lord, set one, activate Eldlixir of Black Awakening, search another Golden Lord, and pass a turn. Our turn's up. Obviously, we're going to tribute over the Golden Lord. He activates Gozen Match. We normal summon Sangan. We activate our Black Illusion Ritual, to which he chains Imperial Order. Now, this is where I messed up. When he activated Imperial Order, I could have chained Relinquished Fusion. And uh, I just, I don't know, I, I didn't even realize that I could do that. So, I don't know why I didn't think. But obviously, I should have chained Relinquished Fusion here. And that would have made for a much easier, much more uh, easily won game. But, you know, it is what it is. So uh, let's just keep going with the replay now. Because Relinquish Fusion is a flash spell. So I definitely messed up there. So the turn looks rough, you know. I normal summon Sangan. I'm passing on this. This guy's definitely looking pretty nice right now. Probably feeling pretty good. Now he activates a droplet under his own Imperial Order. Which is really weird to me. I don't really understand the point of that. But uh, you know. It is what it is. So weirdly enough, he actually set a Huacero and got rid of his Conquistador. Um, to summon the Golden Lord, which I, I really don't understand why he did that. Maybe he thought my deck relied on the graveyard more than it did. At this point, yeah, I figure he just wasn't too aware of the matchup, which makes sense. I mean, it's not like you're, you're seeing uh, Relinquished every day. So anyway, he passes on this. We're at 3,000 life points. We're looking rough. He's got Imperial Order. We can't activate our fusion spells, but it's all going to be okay. We're going to normal summon Tour Guide. He's, we already know what he has set here, so it's very safe for us to just normal summon Tour Guide and go for a search. Get ourselves a Sangan, make ourselves a Predaplant Verte Anaconda. Now with the Anaconda, we get to activate our Relinquished Fusion from the deck, so it is not affected by the Imperial Order. And we're going to make ourselves a Millennium Eyes Restrict, taking control of the Golden Lord using our spell card in the grave. Relinquished Fusion allows you to banish itself from the grave to take control of an opponent's monster. And in hand, we search with Sangan Millennium Eyes Illusionist, which also allows us to take control of an opponent's monster. However, it's negated until the next turn, so we're going to keep that in hand for now. We also use the effect of Predator Plant Verte Anaconda to make our opponent send that monster to the grave because if the Huacero were to attack over Verte Anaconda, we would be dead. Now our opponent is just activating a bunch of spells under their own Royal Imperial Order. I don't really understand why. I suppose they forgot their own card. Our opponent banished a Huacero in the graveyard to set Scarlet Sanguine. They're still paying for that. <laughs> Activate Imperial Order. We chain Max Seek, because why not get a free draw at this point, you know? Now, the reason I normal summon Golden Eyes Idol is because I want to make a Link Karibo. Because if they attack over this guy, we're dead. If they attack over Predator Plant Verte Anaconda with one of their trap monsters, we're dead, dead. But at this point, it seems like pretty impossible for our opponent to bounce back, you know? 
Imperial Order again. At this point, I don't even know why he's still paying for the Imperial Order. I guess he figures, why not? If I take an attack from this guy, he's dead anyway, right? So, Setting a Conquistador with no Eldritch to his name. With Eldritch Seer, he's going to set Golden Land Forever. But uh, Golden Land Forever is not long for this world as he's sending it to the grave. And we're just going to negate the third Eldritch. Equip it to our monster. Ah, ah, ah. Eldritch boy. Yep, that's pretty much duel. We're going to send you to the Shadow Realm. It's just that easy. It's just that easy. So yeah, that's how you beat uh, this guy over here. Uh, <laughs> uh, I really like the deck. Hope you guys like the deck too. Uh, try it out if you want to. Don't try it out if you don't want to. Thanks for watching the video. Like and subscribe. Have a nice evening and peace. Trust.